you going today? So, um, I'm going to teach you all how to use the these plastics. So today, first I'll show you my rod. Um, I'm using the Crystal Power by Sistar. There you go, how's that? I've got a um, Shimano Kazda. Kazda, how you pronounce that? Uh, 2500 FA. I'm using a uh, quarter ounce, I don't know if you can see that. I'm using a quarter ounce jig head. Um, I'll run in 10 pound line and I like to use just a double uni knot to connect that to 30 pound leader because I'm um, chasing some of these big flat heads they've got big teeth on them so let's see how we go I don't know if you can see that colour but these are the uh, brown oxide with blue and gold specks we've got baby bass in the gobby grubs baby bass with the blue and gold specks and then in the tubby grubs, we've got the black with the blue specks. Notice the colour of the water is very dark, very greeny, dark colour. The browner the water, the darker the um, sort of plastics you want to use. So keep that in mind. I'll show you how to feed some of these on. Start with the tubby grubs today, because they're... Um... That's the tubby grub just there. I've had the biggest hits on these soft plastics, so... Just focus that up a bit. So feed these on. Oh, we've got some bushes here. Just want to get that, line it up nicely. Always have the flat surface as, the, as where the hook comes out. And just put your thumb where you think that the hook's going to come out. Feed it through as straight as possible. Push on. That's simple. And yeah, we're going to have to move the boat here because we're in the bush. Little trade secret. In here. Got some chum. So I like to use the chicken pellets, um, all different types of cat food, the sea cocktails, the tuna. Just um, attracts the fish, just that little bit more, you know, gets them hungry. So, fingers crossed, we we'll just move upstream a little bit more, throw some burly out, and hopefully get a flathead for you. So, to use these, um, numerous amount of different ways that you can do that. Um, Slow cast, big cast though, not slow cast. Just cast it out, let it sink to the bottom. You want to watch the line, as soon as the line gets all loose, uh, it means it's hit the bottom. You can just double torque like that, roll in and sit. Constantly watch the line so that you've constantly got pressure on the line, because when the flathead it bites it, it's just going to start running. And if you've got any um, looseness on that, then you, you're going to miss the fish. It's just going to eat it and spit it back out. That's probably the most common um, technique to use. So just double jerk like that, slow roll. Double jerk like that, slow roll. And as we say that, there's um, a nice couple of coils over there. So we'll get it back in and we'll try to get over near the action. So yeah, just double twerk, keep the tension. Nice afternoon out here at the moment. You always want to leave like a little pause in between um, jerking it. So it looks more like a, an, an injured bait fish because that's what you're trying to imitate here is injured bait fish. 
So they're trying to get away and then, you know, they run out of energy. They're trying to get away and then they run out of energy. That kind of stuff. You want to be always casting. You want to be casting as close as you can to the mangroves. Like at the moment, I'm fishing in amongst the mangroves. Look back to the river, just said. This be a good afternoon fishing. I think we um, should get onto it. Have a nice fight here, Sabo. I'll show you another little technique whilst we're here. So you just cast it out. Watch your um, thing come to the line come to the, um, the bottom. So watch the line as soon as it gets all loose. And just slow wind it. Slow wind. Now and then just a little flick down. Flick the rod tip down. So just, just like that. Flick down. That way you're letting then the um, soft plastic do all the work that way. So the tail is just wobbling through like that. And every now and then, you know, it'll skirt off. So you can, I like to flick down to try to keep because flat out our uh, bottom feet of fish. So you want to keep it as close to the bottom as possible. Um, anyway, to the left, to the right, you can flick it up now and then if you want, just you know, mix it all up. Go a couple, have one. I'll stand up here. So you can try to get a better food of it. Something like that, you know? Slow roll. And then you can just cast it you know, down to the open type of thing. You don't always have to be casting up against weed banks. That's where they usually sit. Flathead uh, are very strategic fish. They use the weed uh, beds, or action over there. They use weed beds, um, sand flats, currents um, to their advantage. So they usually sit at the bottom. So say there's a big drop off, big sand bank, they'll always sit down the bottom and um, as the tide runs out and all the uh, bait fish can't swim against the tide, they'll then come down and the flathead will then grab it. That's why you want to always um, keep moving around because the flathead, they do but they don't always chase after bait. They'll usually just sit there and wait for the bait to come to them. So, they're more of a strategic um, fish rather than just an aggressive eat whatever comes their way. They will eat what a lot that comes their way, like whatever comes their way, but as long as it's crossed past their face, they're not gonna go chasing after it, does that make sense? So at the moment, we've got low tide at about 4.30. Um, you usually, so the tide's still coming in, you usually wanna be casting with the tide. So say the tide's moving this way and the tide's coming in, you wanna be casting up against the tide and bringing your bait back with the tide. So then that way it looks like the, you're imitating the bait that way. So, swimming along, swimming along, swimming along, drops down the bank and then the flathead will grab it. When the flathead do grab it, um, you, you want to set the hook pretty quick. You'll feel the pressure, you'll feel the weight, pull back, always keep your rod tip down, but don't ever um, like pull up like that, you want to like, when you set it, you want to pull it sideways like that, pull it sideways. Um, because they're very, you know, they like to spit the bait quite often. A little bit more early out. So a couple pumps to the side, you know, watch your line, let it sit. And then pump, pump. Watch your line, let it sit. Pump, pump. And you just do the one pump. Roll in, let it sit. Watch your line. So yeah, flat out of a 
bottom feeder fish. So you want to keep the bait as close to the bottom at all times. That's why you want to really leave that pause in between to make sure that the bait's back down. Back down on the bottom. And, uh, quick little tw twerks now and then. And even when you're winding, you know, even when you're doing the slow wind, just like that, you want to do it slow. So you can feel the, the jig head just slowly working its way along the bottom. Same with bait, if you're using bait, um, you know, a light sinker, like if you're fishing with live bait, flathead love, um, live herring, live mullet, that kind of stuff. Um, you want to put a small sinker on just to keep that bait on the on the ground because they're a, um, like I said, a bottom feeder fish, so they really like that. Black with the blue speck, we'll give them of the tubby grubby. We'll give the um, baby bass with the blue and gold speck a go. That's that colour there. Same thing, you're gonna line it up just like that. Feed it down the middle, as straight as you can. Bring it out just behind the tail, and then push down. Nice little grub.
So even though you're in a boat, sometimes you want to um, pull up at sandbanks like this and just have a flick around the, the outside. Um, you never know, there could be big flooded sitting along the sandbank. Um, so yeah, it's always a uh, wise opportunity to give it a go, you know, out and about. You don't always have to stay on the boat. You know, the boat gets you more desirable places, like you wouldn't be able to get here without a boat, obviously. So yeah, let's um, see if we can get one, eh? Another good afternoon on the water. Um, actually pulled a little flatty in, got a big hit. Um, that I reckon it was a flatty, I'm gonna call it. Um, yeah, ended up spitting the hook, but you know, that's what fishing is. At least we know that my um, baby bass grubby grubs work. Um, good colour, like I said, you know, the darker the water, the darker the uh, colour lure or uh, soft plastic you want to be using. You want to try to match it so that it just so that it blends in with the water, but you want those sparkles, you know, and that's why you like the blue sparkle because in the water it reflects as a kind of a silvery blue sparkle and it reflects a lot of light. Same with the gold, that's why I like to add the gold in. Um, so yeah, keep tuned. Um, if you like this video and you want some more like tutorial type videos, um, write, a, the, write a comment in the description below, in the comment bar, sorry. And um, yeah, don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you very much, have a good one. And we'll see you next time.